<laughs> Dude, what did you ex what did you expect? Trapper is low tier. I can't tell. I can't tell. Dude, <laughs> thank you, Terranago. Yo, good luck, Dad. Dude, Rock, it's okay. Dude, it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes we don't win every single game, and it's okay. We had fun. We had fun. Aren't you happy that, like, you brought joy to, to people? Instead of playing a nurse that just completely rails everyone at 5 gens and has no personality? I am grateful. I didn't... Dude, you didn't- it's just a game. It's just a game. You didn't suffer that bad. You got a couple of downs. Yo, you, thank you for the four months, dude. Doctor? See, doctor is in. Okay, okay, you're right. I can't slack this much with the hats. Hey, good luck in your future matches, Rock. It's okay, you know, not every not every game is uh not every game's gonna be a dub. But I truly believe in your trapper grind. You can go the distance, bro. You can go the distance. Believe in yourself. It's just one game. It's just one game. I know. When I lose, dude, I get upsetty. I get upsetty too. You're done being killer. Dude, it's just one game though. Okay? Okay? Hello? Did I do that? Bro, dude, it's fine. It's fine. We... Dude, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Rock, it's okay, dude. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Everything's fine. It's just a game. It's just a game. We had fun. If the door was open. <laughs> oh, I love this map. <laughs> like, every time you load into this map, it's like, all right, I'm gonna roll the dice. Is this door open or nah? Dude, it's not a crappy day, bro. It's fine. It's just one game. Think, no, serious, 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 real talk. It's just one game. You can queue up and have a different game. That's the beautiful thing about video games, is that... Like, yo, if you get murdered in real life, that kind of really, really sucks. Because, like, you are you can't respawn. But in games, you know, you can keep doing that. And murder is technically legal in Dead by Daylight. Like, you're allowed to do murder. So that's pretty cool. You don't go to jail for that shit here. Which means that you can keep on trying. So even if you don't do murder in one game, you can queue up again and try to do murder in the next game. Oh, so we're chasing me now? Is that what we're doing? I tried to blind him. I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually tried to blind him. I'm mad. But Rock, see, here's the thing. I understand the stress. Bro, I'm literally, I, I'm actually on your team. I'm actually on your team. I am a, I'm a killer man. I know we're playing a lot of Survivor right now. At the beginning of the stream. Can my game not stutter though? But. It's, it's just one game and also like. Sorry, I'm trying to not die in the chase, but. Is this pallet real? Yes. You, positive mindset, positive mindset. Okay, that pallet's real. <laughs> Damn. Rock, it's it's just a game, bro. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, my main. Also, like, it, it is all. I, it's try and separate your emotions from what actually happened. Like, if you think about it in the moment, like. Separate yourself from the game. Separate yourself from the game. 
like we're in like you know in the moment right here and now you're fine everything is absolutely dandy as long as you can learn something from that game then that's a positive experience was there something if you're playing the game back in your head was there something that you could have done if we view it from a logical perspective and take our emotions out of the mix that's you could still walk away learning something which is a positive experience which will affect your next game and if we can recenter ourselves and be mindful that will allow us to queue up faster get more games in and then the more games that we get where we have a mindset focused on learning will improve quicker and therefore we will approach the point where we can dump on people and have fun faster because it, it is a player versus player game and people that you know have lots and lots of time in the game and have played numerous games have the experience now, I, I don't necessarily know how much play time you have but when i started off playing dbd i went through what you went through zarina's got to get the unhook over there it's only fun when you dump on others, pretty much. I mean, did you have fun getting dumped on? It's it's just, that's what happens, dude. You go against a, a nurse that shits on people, you don't have fun. You go against a, a lower tier killer, you, you end up having fun more often. Unless it's like a bad nurse and, and you end up winning. Like, both sides are trying to have fun, and it's, it's, it, is, it is a competitive game. I know people sometimes say that DVD is a party game, but, you know, both sides are really fighting for, like, having fun. Like, flashlight saves are fun, but if you get flashlight saved as killer numerous times, you're probably going to lose the game. Yo, thank you, Dern Boy. Oh, I appreciate you, dude. DVD is like hockey. And it's okay to take a break, like, if you're upset from one game. But I truly did, uh, like, enjoy meeting you. And I appreciate you playing Trapper that game. And so, uh, I think that you're a positive... ...fucking skill check. I'm sorry, Trevor. You're a positive skill check, dude. Yo, sup, chef? Ahoy, captain! Yes, chef. Welcome in, Chef. And I, I understand how you, I understand how you feel. Yo, I thought he was standing there. That is hallucination, though. Yeah, resurgence and then botany. Bam! Now you can snap out of it. Perfect. Yes, I yes I do, and it, it is hard when I get shit on. Yo, wait, Holy just said that I get shit on. Hold on. Yo, whose side are we on, Holy? Wait, I don't get pooped on that much. Okay, it does happen though. It does happen. It, not that often. Not that like not that often though, right? Right. At least once a day. Yo, okay. And now here's where I gotta draw the line. Bro. Okay, we're getting we're getting into the deep shit. We're getting into deep shit. You think someone with a smile as big as mine will never know how you feel? Fun fact of the day. This is gonna blow your mind. I used to be suicidal and I'm on antidepressants. Because sometimes that thought pops up into my head. But you know, fuck that shit, dude. I don't want that. I want positivity. I want love. I want life. I want to be happy. So that's what I choose. I fight the battle, dude. I fight the battle. I fight the good fight. Every single day. And I might appear on the outside like, you know, I'm always positive. But that shit is hard. Well, one of the reasons why I stream is to show that I'm getting hit here. That you can do it. 
that you can do it. And like it's 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 a genetic thing. It's not it's something that I can't escape. So like, I mean, also environmental factors used to like impact it back in the day. But my life's great right now, dude. My life's great. I I literally I love my life, dude. I get to play games. I get to hang out with awesome people. Like. So you, you just got to remember to to not let one game affect your entire day. Uh, I'm sure something I'm sure something equally as on the opposite side like so maybe that game you didn't enjoy you had a bad game. But I'm sure you've had something positive. It and we can easily just look at the negatives and fixate on those and be pessimistic and that can like control how we feel and how we think. It's easy to forget to be grateful for your loved ones, your family, your friends. You know, just, just, you know, being able to have a roof over your head. Like, these things that we take for granted. Practicing gratitude. Writing it in a journal. I don't go that far. Yeah, this doctor is doing pretty good. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is it's just one game. It's just one game, so you shouldn't let it affect your, in, your entire day. And that game's in the past. So like practicing mindfulness, meditating, and like living in the moment is super important. Because otherwise, yes, you can get overwhelmed, dude. You can think, oh man, there's so, there's so many atrocities happening in the world right now. And like if you just fixate on all the bad stuff, then you'll miss all the beautiful stuff. I am trying. Was I on a gen? Yeah, and you have to have realistic expectations. Trapper is one of the weakest killers in Dead by Daylight. The lamp save. So you you have to manage. You have to be realistic and like set aside your emotions. Because yeah, Trapper is not a good killer. It's just straight up not. I don't play trap. I like trapping, dude. Trapping is fun, but it's not strong. So you're probably not going to win, which means that if you play trapper, you should go in expecting that you're probably going to lose. Maybe you get a couple fun traps here and there. And like, if you play a killer, you should really play them because you truly enjoy them, regardless of like if you're expecting to win or lose. Yo, Juby. Yeah, doctor is killing people, man. What the heck? Oh yeah, I'm on. I'm literally on like two different antidepressants right now, so I literally know how you feel, bro. Oh, he got me there. What? You better kick that weak pallet. What do I got in here? The worst pallet in the game. What do I got right here? Another weak pallet. Get trapped in there? Uh, it's gonna be a hatch match, huh? If you can take a hit from me, I'll love you. Long time. I do not know where the gate is. What is it? This way? That door is closed. He's cutting us off from the gate. She only has this gate ready, though. Yo, thank you, Pi. Thank you, Pikey. If I could snap out of it and heal myself. Iron Will Mind Game? It's so good. I got so much distance. Open, open the door. Open the door. No way, dude. Oh. GG.
GG! Let's go, dude! Holy game! Yeah, that door do open weird, doesn't it? It's kind of cute how it opens. Yeah! Hey, GG, execute it. Woo! My heart is pumping. Do, do, do. Need to get back in your killer main psych like you were back in 2022, but you've been nervous. I feel that. I literally used to sit up in the DVD menu and I was looking, you know, especially when rank was up here. I Part of me likes that it's hidden, part of me like would like to see it, but seeing your rank in the top right definitely kind of psychs you out a bit. And you're like, oh, what if I don't pip up? You know, what if I don't do well? Fuck the results, dude. Play for the game and play for playing the game. Whether you win or lose, it's not important. It's not important. You need to just set aside your emotions. Just queue up, no fear. Don't care what people are gonna say in the end game chat. Even if you do poorly. What's important is that you just get the experience in, you get the learning in. And then once, once you just get all that XP and learning in, then you get to a point where you're so good, you'll never be afraid of queuing up again. You just need to get to that point though.